Hey guys and welcome back to VR Escape. So we've seen many of the movies, so how do you like the sound of creating your own avatar for your VR environments with the click of just a few buttons? In fact it just takes minutes, so stick around if you want to find out how. wall 3 d are the developers of an avatar creation tool called Ready Player Me, which is specialised for VR environments. Now they've been around for about 7 years, so it's quite exciting to see that their specialties are being contributed to the VR community. Did I also mention it's free? The best part is, once you create an avatar, you can use it across many VR social platforms such as VR Twitch, Meeting VR, Wonder VR, Cena 360, Holospaces, Utopia VR, Couch Live and of course VR chat. Now that is a lot of social spaces for meetings so please do let us know in the comments if you would be interested in a video on the various meeting platforms available. Creating your own avatars used to be such a painful process you used to have to download Unity, watch a bunch of YouTube tutorials and basically spend hours doing it. Boring. Well Ready Player Me has fixed this problem for us and here is how. Simply just go to the website I'm going to leave a link in the description below and then just select the first site that pops up. Then once you're on there, create your avatar and select your sex preference. And here you select take a photo and if you've got a webcam you can take a picture, if not just select the picture from your documents like I've got to do here. Good God, that is a man that's had many many a war. And there you go, my own avatar. Now that's not too bad, that needs some alterations to look a little bit more like me. So I'm going to make some changes here. As you can see there are some preferences. You can change your hair colour, your hairstyle, your facial hair and your eye colour along with things like your clothing. I've already signed up so I won't do this again. Then click on import to VR chat. Here you need to log in with your own VR chat account. This takes you to the screen where you just need to give confirmation by clicking yes and there you go, it's created you an avatar. How simple was that? Now just go to your VR headset, in my case I'm using the Quest 2, open up VR chat and get yourself logged in. Now for me VR chat never really seems to get old, there's so many people in here now and it's really built up a really cool community. Didn't a guy once spend a week in here? I can't remember now but I'm pretty certain he spent about a week in here and literally slept in his headset. Absolute nut job. Just open up your menu and I really do need to sort these settings out because look, for whatever reason, oh, why hasn't it detected it? Oh, it's a piece of shit. Anyway, select avatar and here you can see it says, it's quite obvious, Wolf 3D in the corner. There's a lot of good detail in there actually. Yeah, that looks alright to me. I'm happy with that. You then just need to hit change and there you go. You're now in your new avatar. Let's just pop over to the mirror. This guy is hot. Yep. Just getting jiggy. I've still got the moves. Definitely still got the moves. Avatars are quite an exciting prospect for the future, so being able to get across your real self in VR feels like probably the next step. Add that with things like eye tracking, I think we're getting really close to the matrix. Now speaking to people's avatars in VR and seeing where they're looking, I think can kind of get a bit creepy, but hey, it is the next step, right? Let's just see what the future brings us. Now if you like this content, please do leave a like and subscribe. It really does help us newbies out. If you didn't like it, well, just leave us a like anyway. We'll just try harder next time. So that's all from me. Thank you for listening. See you in the next one.